Hi, my name is Chadwick Campbell and I'm a project director at the Center for AIDS Prevention Studies. This is a mini lecture. The title of today's lecture is Structural and Intersectional Biographical Disruption, HIV Disclosure Among Black Gay and Bisexual Men. Now I know biographical disruption is a new concept to many of you, maybe most of you. And so I will do my best to try to summarize it a bit as I go through. So first, often we think about HIV status disclosure for people living with HIV as a way to reduce the risk of transmitting the virus, um, as a way for people to get social support, or we talk about the relationships between disclosure and some positive health outcomes, like people staying engaged in care and adhering to their medication regimen. Research has also documented some negative outcomes of disclosure, and these include, for example, being rejected by friends and family or potential sex partners or romantic partners, um, and sometimes violence and discrimination. Um, but we tend to think about these things as discrete moments that we can measure. So in other words, someone discloses their HIV status and as a result, someone stops speaking to them, a partner breaks up with them, et cetera. But HIV disclosure is embedded in ongoing relationships and your ongoing biography. And so it's important to understand it in those broader contexts in order for us to really get a grasp on what those uh, experiences are like, what's shaping those experiences and those outcomes. I conducted research in Baton Rouge, Louisiana um, with 30 Black gay and bisexual men. In interviews, I explored their lives both before and after being diagnosed, and I aim to understand HIV and disclosure as they fit into ongoing their ongoing relationships and the ongoing story of their lives. And so I wanted to understand what is the meaning of disclosure in their particular social and cultural environments? How are they engaging in the process of disclosure, if at all? And what are the long-term and short-term outcomes of disclosure for them? So in an upcoming manuscript, I use the framework of biographical disruption to explore disclosure. And this concept, um, helps us to describe how, how chronic illnesses can disrupt one's life. Specifically, you may not be able to engage in the same activities, need additional resources to take care of yourself. Sometimes people have to change their future goals because they can no longer do what they had planned to do in their lives. And oftentimes people's relationships with other people change. In my work, I looked at disclosure as the source of disruption instead of the HIV diagnosis or the illness itself. And so I want to just highlight a few important findings from that analysis. First, the majority of men had experienced some previous trauma or disruption in their lives before disclosing their HIV status. And so these included things like surviving childhood sexual abuse, uh, coming out as gay or bisexual, and being diagnosed with HIV. These were very important to understanding disclosure among these men. To offer just one example, several men believe that their HIV infection was the result of their childhood sexual abuse. And so disclosing their HIV status meant revisiting that trauma and made facing the how did you get HIV questions from loved ones particularly difficult. Second, disclosure led to disruptions in three particular ways. Um, first, men uh, suffered assaults on the way that they saw themselves when people treated them as if they were a danger to others or when they were called irresponsible or a hoe for having contracted HIV. Other men confided in people that they trusted only to have those same friends and family members disclose their status to others and having it spread through their social network further caused disruption to their safety and security and their stability in their lives. Um, men also face short and long-term damage to social and familial relationships. Here it's important to highlight that these were not discrete moments in time. Uh, these experiences often led to other consequences like having unstable housing, losing support from the only people that they could depend on and feeling alienated from their families in an ongoing way. And lastly, disclosure caused some men to lose or quit their jobs after colleagues learned of their HIV status, um, which in some cases, also led to losing housing. It is important also to just note that a large majority, almost 80% of these men had experienced more than one of these disruptions. And in many, case, in many cases, one disruption, like a fractured relationship with one's parents, could lead to something else like having to sleep in the car because they no longer have a place to sleep where they feel safe. 
So black gay and bisexual men who are living with HIV are faced with the intersections of HIV stigma, racism, including structural, racial, and, and economic inequalities, and homophobia. HIV disclosure is a complex social interaction that is embedded in the context of ongoing social relations and the broader story of one's life. So moving forward, research must go beyond considering disclosure as a predictor or outcome of some singular measure. Other aspects of one's biography, identity, and social location constitute these experiences and their outcomes, and therefore must be incorporated into future explorations of these interactions. Thank you for watching this mini lecture.